back guys so today we are at Keller Bay I am with MDLR fishing and with Chell Chaser I think he's over there somewhere there he is and today's plan is to try to catch some redfish sight casting let's make it happen man there we go fish on got him got him a little trout I think yep small little trout <laughs> nice little trout there check it out guys first fish of the day a little small dink Nothing to be too special about, but right at the fish. Look at that. He's probably right at 14. We're not keeping fish today, but beautiful trout. There you go, buddy. There we go. Got him. Got him. Another dink. <laughs> School of dinks, guys. School of dinks. <laughs> Nonetheless, these, these, these uh, speckled trout are so much fun to catch. I'll take them any day. Oh, come on, bro. Let go. Oh, there we go. Dink trout again. <laughs> this one's actually an upgrade. He's probably like right at 15. Probably my best one today. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, these are so much fun to catch, man. They're so aggressive with those all those hex shades. Check it out. Look how pretty they are, man, with the spots and the purple haze beautiful look at that yellow mouth with those fangs man you gotta be careful with these fangs guys they'll completely stab you i've been stabbed many times check it out guys here you go Oh, there he is. There's a red right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, he went right under your boat. Oh, there's a red right there. Yeah. Another red right there. Oh, another red right there. There's a bunch of reds in here. Yeah. This one's not scared. Dang, I lost another one. Oh, there we go. Whoa, that was a blind cast. See, blind casting, man. <laughs> it's a big guy, too. This guy's pretty big. Dang, it's been a long, hard grind, man. Been spooking a lot of reds right here. It's just I couldn't, uh, I couldn't stand on my kayak because my rudder would just bump into the oyster and just spook them. It's just this Hobie is really not built to be really, really skinny. I think I would have had a better chance with my. Dang, it's a big red. I would have had a better chance with my top water. But nonetheless, I got him. So, pretty happy about that. Make sure he, he looks stuck in there. Dang, he's huge. Dang, he's a big guy. He is strong, strong, strong. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, dang. Oh, yes. 
Oh, dude, he's a big one. Well, I'm very happy I caught one. It's been a pretty hard day on me because it's going to side cast, but they're just not making that ruckus like they usually do, like when they school up and tail or when they're attacking shrimp. I just They're not there. They're there, though. They're just laying flat in the oyster and mud. And then when I get close to it, like I said, my rudder starts bumping up all in the oyster and it gets caught up there and I'm trying to stand up and uh, it just spooks them. Oh, dude, this dude's huge. Some pretty big red. Good lord. Yeah, nice, beautiful red. Big guy. Big, big guy. 25 and a half. Thank you, my man, for the fight. You're a pretty big dude. 25 and a half inch. I would say he's probably weighs probably in about eight pound range. He is pretty hefty. Not eight pound, maybe about seven, six, six or seven pounds. Big hefty red. All right, there he goes. Nice. He was right there. Yeah, man, like I said earlier, it's just been really, really tough. Uh, I've been trying to side cast. They're here, no doubt they're here. It's just, man, I my, my kayak is just really not up to the task, especially with the rudder, just bumping into all the oyster and just spooking all of them. It's just been really tough. So I caught that one by pure luck, blind casting, because I kind of knew that, you know, they're staying in the shallow and kind of close to drop up in the mud. So that's how I got them. That's how I got them. Let's see if I can get one more and call it a day. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my God. I thought I was stuck. <laughs> that's a fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Got him. That was so funny. That was so random. Just blind casting, man. Because I know they're at this, this shallow here. And they're moving. They're moving here into the deeper areas. Because I know them. Because we see them. And I've spooked many of them. Oh, that's a good red. He is huge. He is huge. He just kind of hit it and stopped. And honestly, I thought I was stuck on the oyster. But then he started moving. Dang, this guy's big. It's another big guy. It's probably going to be like in a 24. Oh, dude. I don't want you to stop. Oh, man. He's a big dude. <laughs> oh, these reds are so much fun to fight, man. If you guys have not had a chance to fight a, an upper slot red, you're missing out. You're missing out. You need to try as soon as possible. And, man, the fish here are so healthy in Keller Bay. The fish are so healthy in Keller Bay. Oh, my God. He's big. Just got to tire him out. Dang, he's fighting. He is fighting, man. Woo! And he's a strong guy. Dang, he's gonna be a big one. He's probably gonna be about 25 inch or probably 24. My guess anywhere 24 to 27 inch. Oh my god. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh god, these redfish are so much fun to fight. Dude, he's big. Woo! A big guy. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's big. He's big. I think he's going to eclipse uh, the first one for sure. Dude, that's huge. Wow. All right, just put in perspective, guys. I, guys, I have 10 pound, 10 pound power pro or 10 pound stuff. Dude, this is a huge guy. Oh, he's done. Oh my gosh, hold on, let me take a break. I have 10 pound uh, power uh, suffix advanced 832 braid with uh, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow, he's big. Oh wow, with a uh, uh, 10 pound Yozuri uh, fluorocarbon leader. And he was able to, that, that material was able to bring in this big redfish. Wow. All right, guys. Look how freaking big this dude is. Oh, my God. He's big. He is big. Oh, wow. Dude, look at that redfish. Dude, that's huge. Goodness gracious, he's big. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. He's big. Alright, just curious man, I think he might be like at the 27 inch, 
mark. Oh, dude, he's huge. For for Keller Bay, Keller Bay is very, very shallow, like three feet max. Oh my God, 30 inches. <laughs> oh my God, that is my new PB in a bay system or like marsh type area. 30, well, I'm sorry, 29 and three quarters. Pretty much touching the 30, look at that. But we'll say 29 and three quarters. Good God, bull red and three feet of water. Dang, look at that. Monster freaking red. 30 inches pretty much. 29 and three quarters. Good God. Dang, he's a big guy. That's a big red fish. Golly. Oh my God. All right. There you go, bud. Get some air. You, you put up a good fight, my man. Fish on, fish on, got him, got him, got him. Oh, yeah. I knew I spooked them. There's a bunch over here, guys. They're being spooked everywhere. Like, there's clouds everywhere. Oh, it's gonna be another big one. It's gonna be another big one. Gonna be another big one. <laughs> on the bugs, trout thumper, too, man. <laughs> you thank you so much, brother. This trout thumper is money. He's not gonna be uh, uh, a bigger, bigger. <laughs> Sorry about that, my battery ran out. But oh, beautiful red, man. He's not gonna be a bigger guy, but nothing's gonna top that 30 incher. But still, nonetheless, beautiful fish on the trout thumper, too. Nonetheless, look at that. There we go. I'm gonna tickle your butthole. Put your dorsal. There you go, buddy. One more time. Tickle that butthole. Come on, dorsal fin. Go up. Well, usually it works. Usually when you tickle their butthole, the dorsal thing goes up. All right, ladies and gents, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got a, almost a limit of reds, but I'm very happy because considering it's pretty tough grind in Killer Bay, but Killer Bay is actually a pretty cool bay to fish at. And I will be back 